Egypt imports 10 million tons of wheat out of the 16 million tons it consumes annually. The North African state relies on both Russia and Ukraine for 85% of its supplies because of the quality, low price and shipping costs compared to other exporters. It is not only wheat that we import, but also cooking oil. 80% of our cooking oil and our corn comes from Russia and Ukraine. Actually, most of our food basket is from this area. There is a strong connection. Global supply disruptions and inflationary commodity prices triggered by the conflict in Europe widened the country's already strained budget deficit. The government had to take quick action to avert a crisis. First of all, it diversified the sources of wheat to avoid dependence on Ukraine. Second, Egypt mixed wheat with potato to reduce wheat consumption in bread. And third, we have begun cultivating millions of acres to reduce dependence on imports. The Russian-Ukraine grain supply agreement that was signed in Turkey late last week has come as a lifeline for Africa's third most populous nation. If well executed, this deal will go a long way in easing concerns of Egypt regarding its food security and availability of basic commodities like wheat and flour. The Istanbul agreement will free about 20 million tons of stocked Ukrainian wheat and Cairo is ready to tap into the international market to boost its reserves. International wheat prices have now dropped from 500 US dollars per ton to 300 or 270 US dollars a ton. This deal will definitely push prices down further and Egypt is already signing new contracts. The last one was for 850,000 tons from Bulgaria, Romania, Spain and France. But Cairo is also looking at a longer strategy. Our reserves are only covered until December, but with low prices, we can build a strong strategic food reserve until April 2023, just ahead of time when the next local harvest season begins. By then, Egypt hopes calm will have resumed to Europe, with food supplies and prices returning to their normal levels.